Hello, John from Peter Tyson. All-in-one audio systems are very popular and they certainly have their place. So let's have a look at the rather nice Ruark R410 and crack on. It's a very versatile all-in-one audio system with wireless streaming, built-in radio and a host of physical connections. It's made from real fused veneer, from discarded walnut that ordinarily would be scrapped, so it's a very eco-friendly audio system. The 1970s inspired styling looks kind of modern, but still retaining that little sprinkle of retro charm. The speakers hide behind the very well-finished wood grille. Offset on the front, there lies a 4-inch TFT colour display for navigating menus, displaying album art, and it's relatively large but still looks neat and tidy like it belongs there. And it's all sat on rather neat and tidy aluminium legs. On top lives the distinctive Ruark Rotodial. Easy access to the usual playback controls, volume, source selection, favourites and menu navigation. In the box you will get a Rotodial remote control that mimics the one on top of the R410. It connects via Bluetooth so the range is excellent and it doesn't have to be pointed at the unit itself. There is no app. Bad news for some, great news for others. Everything is done via the Rotodial and the onboard display or of course your favourite music apps but more on that later. It's all very simple. The lack of an app does not make the R410 old-fashioned in any way. It can stream with the best of them, thanks to Chromecast and AirPlay 2. This means it can join multi-room audio with other AirPlay and Chromecast speakers from a whole host of other manufacturers. Using your favourite music app with Chromecast or AirPlay, whether you use Apple or Android, is a fairly simple affair. There is, of course, Bluetooth HD built in if you prefer for a simpler connection but it may not sound quite as good as the network streamed options. Along with Spotify Connect and Tidal Connect, there is of course internet radio, so you can dial into stations all over the world with your internet connection. If you prefer something a bit simpler, it does have FM, DAB and DAB Plus radio. All you need to do is screw on the included telescopic antenna. In terms of connections, there is mains power, obviously. A super for output, should you want to reinforce the bottom end. A nice touch. It's perfect for the Ruark RS1 subwoofer. I will, of course, leave a link in the description, as always. Come on, you should know me by now. There's a phono input with built-in moving magnet phono stage. Analog RCA line in for a whole host of audio equipment. Optical toss link if you prefer the digital route. A really nice touch is the HDMI eARC connection. So if you've got your Ruark placed underneath the TV, you can use it as a rather fancy soundbar. There's a USB-C audio input, perfect for a computer or a USB CD drive. Wired Ethernet if you don't want to rely on the built-in wireless, and the aforementioned antenna connection for the FM and DAB radio. The sound is delivered via two Ruark 20mm silk dome tweeters and two Ruark 100mm NS Plus mid bass units. And underneath lies the tuned dual bass reflex system. You can tinker with the sound with adjustable bass and treble settings. There is a stereo plus 3D audio enhancement which is worth playing with. And automatic adaptive EQ can manipulate the sound depending on what volume you're playing at. The Ruark R410 is not just a one-trick party speaker, it actually sounds very good. Out of the box, it can be a little bass heavy for some tastes, including mine, I'm afraid. It is worth playing with those sound settings and maybe knocking the bass down a couple of dB just to tune it in. That's what I preferred. Obviously, it's your speaker, you do what you like. If you like that slightly bass-loaded sound, fill your boots. It's easy to listen to, it's nice and warm and relaxing, and even at low volumes, it sounds really, really pleasant. It's never harsh or brash, it's just easy. Whatever you throw at it, Beethoven, Katie Malua, Foo Fighters to Infected Mushroom, it all just sounds pretty sweet. Obviously, I have to talk about some sort of alternative, and it's right in the firing line of the rather lovely Name Muso second generation a fine all-in-one audio system. Looks are subjective. The name is sleek and cool, 
while the Ruark is sort of warm and friendly. The name is perhaps a little more dynamic and hi-fi sounding. The Ruark is more easygoing and relaxing to listen to. The name has a really good app for control and updates and the like. The Ruark has a built-in screen and the roto dial twiddly knob is really nice to use. To be fair, you're gonna have to decide for yourself. I'm not calling this one. Maybe I'd just take the Sonus Faber Omnia to avoid having to choose. To be perfectly honest, it's hard not to love the Ruark R410. It's certainly one of the nicest sounding pieces of furniture I've ever experienced. There's more streaming options and connections than a really connecty connected thing. It's easy to use and honestly, it's money well spent in my opinion. So that's it. Obviously, leave your thoughts and comments down below. I love reading them and I will try and reply to a lot of them. If you would like to arrange a demonstration, come and have a listen to yourself to all the different options. You can give us a call on one of these numbers for our Carlisle store where I am here or our Newcastle store. Until then, you'll see me in the next video. Take care.